Hello and welcome back to another Women's PBC Art Night. Tonight is night three. I am Bella. I am Jenny. And welcome back. So today's activity is going to be chill as always and we are going to be doing a music themed bullet journal spread. Super simple, really easy. For tonight's supplies, we just have some markers and pens. You can use colored pencils if you want to. You don't need any stickers, but you can if you want to be a little extra. Um, so yeah, we hope that you'll enjoy tonight's project and thank you so much for coming. So we're gonna get ready with step number one. Okay, so for step number one, um, this is the first page. So basically, this is what it'll look like after the whole thing. But what we're gonna do first is we're gonna title our page My Music Notes, and then you can do your little title um, lines at the top. We did music notes at the top for the example, but if that's a little too tricky, you can do whatever you want. Um, and after your title, make sure that you have a song picked out and you're gonna write the song, artist, album, and year. And make sure for the song that you pick out, it's something that either means a lot to you, it's your favorite song, or maybe it's a song that's really old, whatever, whatever you please. Just keep in mind that you're gonna end up writing a lot about this song and doing a little picture for it. So make sure it's something that you really like. Okay, so now that we have the directions out there for you guys, we're gonna get started. So, yeah. So for the last couple of projects I've done, I've really had a goal of trying to tame down my really bright color usage and trying to be like more muted or, you know, neutral. And every time so far it has become a rainbow project. So I'm gonna try to choose colors tonight that are not crazy. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think for me, like I haven't done like crazy colors, but like, I've kind of kept it like fairly simple um so yeah it's been yeah I'm gonna like try to see if I can maybe add color instead um yeah so that'll be interesting so we're back in our art studio mm -hmm. slash garage and I think today was 94 degrees. Oh goodness. And so we're in here, it's starting to cool off, but it's pretty hot, so. Yeah, I don't even feel like it's cooling off to be honest. Yeah, we just had to close the door because our cat decided yeah. to try to join, join yeah. us, so. If you hear him meowing, just, yeah, he's probably hungry. He's a, what, he's a fat cat, so yeah, that's probably why. Yeah, I think it's almost dinner time. So when you were picking out your song, did you have any trouble picking it out or was it like clear? Oh yeah, I know what song I would pick that, you know, kind of matters to me and well, originally I kind of forgot like that we were supposed to pick like a meaningful song. So, I mean, it doesn't have to be meaningful. It just has to be something that you got a lot of thoughts about, you know? Um, I kind of forgot about that for a sec. So then I just chose like a random song from like one of my playlists um, that I like, but then I realized I actually have a better song um, that like, was more impactful to me, like when I was like, like in eighth grade. Um, so like, and I was like, oh yeah, I know what I can write about this. So like, yeah. What about you? 
Yeah, it took me a minute, even though I had, you know, liked the idea of the music project. Um, I just was like, oh my gosh, what is it going to be? Um, and what do I want it to have to do with? And so, and finally it was easy. And then, yeah, came up with something. did my title mm -hmm. and then I am gonna be writing out my song, the artist, the album, and the year yeah. the song was made. Um, yeah, I mean, like, I don't want to go, like, too much into why it's, like, impactful because it's, like, kind of sad because, like, eighth, eighth grade was, like, hard, but, like, it was a song that, like, I could relate to. It's, like, it's called Uno by Rex Orange County. Like, I know a lot of kids my age probably know the artist, um, but, like, it was, like, this song about, like, you know, things have been kind of like off and like you know things have been like stressful but like the artist like is like you know even though all this is happening i'm still writing songs you know or like going back into like childhood and stuff and like where it was more like chill and stuff so it was like it's not that i st i don't like this song anymore i still do but like it reminds me of how I like I was still getting through a lot of stuff in eighth grade. So like yeah. Alright. Okay, so I think we're ready to move on to the next step after showing you guys what we did. So okay. Alright, so this is what mine looks like so far. I wrote my music notes. I'm gonna need to fix that because I tried to make it a little loopy, but it looks like an E, but that's okay. Um, so I wrote my info here, and then over here we have Jenny's, um, she did her title and then all of her info as well. So yeah, hopefully you get some inspo if you didn't have any already for what yours is going to look like. So now we're going to move on to the next step. Alright, so now for the next step, what you're going to do is you're going to have a little section next to all of your info talking about... Um, what time in your life was this your favorite song? And what were you going through at the time? Just so you can kind of like reminisce on like why it had such an impact or maybe why it was your favorite, you know, just so you can like document that important info. So yeah, now we're gonna go and do that. All right, so now that you have the instructions, we're gonna start working on that next section. Um, yeah. If you guys feel comfortable sharing uh, your song in the chat, we'd love to know what you picked out. Um, the song I picked out is by Los Lonely Boys, and apparently the album title is the same. And um, it was made in 2004, in the same year Bella was born. And uh, this song is called Heaven. So it's like a the band is like a band that we listened to a lot when I was born. So like listening to all of their songs is like super nostalgic 
because I just like hear it and I'm like, OMG, childhood, you know? Like really, really early childhood. Mm -hmm. Like baby. Bella was born we lived basically in a studio so there weren't really any doors except for like on the bathroom and on the back in the bathroom and so um what we'd have to do to kind of block out the noise when she was trying to sleep um is play music in the little area of the apartment that she was in um to just kind of create some kind of barrier between us rustling around doing whatever like in the kitchen or something and so the Los Lonely Boys CD by the way CD there's no such thing as Spotify or anything um we had on repeat like the entire time even during sleeping um because it just seemed to like soothe her and you know just create a calming vibe in the house mm -hmm. so it was literally on all the time so. I always end up doing flowers. I don't know what it is. We're both like doing the same thing. Oh, what do you mean? Pink and green and black? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Did you not see that? No. Oh, wow. <laughs> we ended up copying each other without even knowing. <laughs> okay. All right, so now that we're done with that little section, we're gonna go on to the next one. Okay, so now that we're done with that, this is what it looks like, just like a little section to the side of your info. Um, over here, we have Jenny's example as well. Um, yeah, so now we're gonna move on to what we put below here. Okay, so the next section is going to be drawing a picture. So drawing a picture basically um, representing the time of your life. And then you're going to title this picture whatever you want. Um, and then once you do your picture, whether or not you make a box for it or not, you're gonna do the um, end uh, line that basically matches the top one as we do like in all of our projects. Um, so yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna start the picture section. I like how our projects have had a combination of some type of drawing and writing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. Which is like the main thing about bullet journaling is it's not just writing. Um, I mean it can be if you want to, but like the main thing is that you decorate it with drawings. So then it like fits more with like, like so you can like fit more creativity into it, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to decorate things with like music notes and I am not a musician so if someone who actually knew music notes saw these that they would be just probably so confused they were like gibberish but I'm trying I'm drawing like a, a representation of how my emotions felt every day of the week in eighth grade because like towards the end things got really repetitive with kind of how like the week would go where it would just feel like the same stuff. Like, like not every day was the same, but like every day of the week was the same. Like every Thursday I would be like feeling like I just want the week to end or like every Wednesday I would be like, okay, it's a half day, but, but I'm still not wanting to go to school and stuff and just like, yeah. And then like Sunday nights would be bad because that would be like the whole week would come on to me and I would get all, all overwhelmed. So, and then it would just kind of all happen again. 
but yeah. So for the song, do you, when you listen to it, do you feel like, I know we'll be writing this out in our next couple of sections, I think, mm -hmm. but like, does it make you feel happy or kind of sad or like what emotion comes up for you with that? Well, what's interesting about the song is it's like, it's basically, it's, it's weird because it's like an upbeat song, but it's like, like kind of like, you know, things are rough right now is sort of like the thing mm -hmm. that's in the song. Um, where it's like, if I, like, if I listen to it now, I'd be like, oh yeah, I still like this song. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's like other songs that I would listen to and then I like cry because then it reminds me of like the sad times. But like, this song is like, more like, yeah, I remember that, but it's still like a good upbeat song, you know? Mm -hmm. But yeah. It's amazing how much songs can hold like nostalgia and memories. Um, yeah, just even like the first few notes can like bring up kind of the past. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I think we're ready to show you what we did and go over the next step. Alrighty, let's go. Okay. So basically what I did was di I did like a day of the week thingy and did like little shapes and colors for kind of like how I felt. Um, and then I did my title here and then like did an arrow for it. Um, and then I did my bottom line that like kind of matches the top. Um, and then for Jenny's, um, she did her drawing here and then finished off with her um, line uh, decoration at the bottom. So. Yeah, now we're going to move on to the next part. So for this part, what we're going to do is we're going to write the song title again and then write down like the most impactful line or your favorite line of the song. Um, and yeah, make sure above that, though, you put another line to tie the whole page together. Okay, so now that you got those instructions, we're going to start doing that step as well. So is your lyric like long or short? I'm just trying to pick out which one. I mean, I think I'm gonna, I was gonna choose something longer, but I think I'm gonna choose something a little shorter. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Okay, yeah, I think I got it. What about you? I chose like one sentence. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the last and final step of the project. Um, so we'll show you what we did and then move on to that. All right, so I wrote my sentence and like kind of highlighted each important word with like different colors. Um, and then with Jenny's, she wrote her quote um, as well. So now in this space, we're going to be um, doing the last part. Okay, so in this section, um, we're going to either box it. Oh, oops. We don't have to box it um, if you don't want to, um, but that's okay if you do. Just remember that underneath it, you need space to be able to put your last line. Um, so what we're gonna write in it is, why is this your favorite um, chorus or verse? How does it make you feel? Um, again, it doesn't have to be your favorite one. It just has to be like most impactful or your favorite. Um, so yeah, this is just a section to elaborate on uh, the last step that we did. Okay, so now that we have the last instructions, let's do that part and then we'll be, we'll be all done.
Do you want to talk about um, what you wrote down for your section? Sure. Um, I just kind of wrote a little bit similar to what I had said. Um, so just about hearing the chorus uh, over and over when we played it in the apartment in San Francisco. Um, and that even the first few notes bring me back to that time. And that time, uh, like, represents um, such a strange, wonderful, scary, challenging time um, of, like, bringing a baby home and being terrified that, you know, how are we supposed to take care of this little thing? Um, and everything that was going along with it um, in terms of what does it mean to be a parent? What does it mean to be a mom or a dad? Um, and just, I think Isaac and I watching each other parent for the first time. And so it feels like that song, as well as the whole rest of the CD is kind of like underscoring to that, like if it were a movie or something. Yeah. So Like if like you had a soundtrack for your life, like that would be the, the one of the songs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I feel like for me, definitely, I feel like this would be a song, like, in my, if my life had a soundtrack, like, this is, like, where the character is going through the hard times, but they're trying to find, they, they want to, like, get through it, you know? Because it was still, like, an upbeat song. Mm -hmm. um, I think, like, what I wrote down is that I liked that. What always, like, I and I still like it when this happens today, is, like, when you hear a song that basically just describes what you're feeling. It just makes you feel like, wow, okay, the artist of this song is also feeling the same way I am, which is cool. But also that, like, you can sing it, and it's, like, applying to you. And you can, it's not just, like, you're reading, like, a poem. Like, you can, whenever you hear it, you can just, like, sing it, you know? You can, like get out your thoughts mm -hmm. in like a like in a catchy way and it just like makes you feel like oh this is awesome like I can relate to this even if it's not like even if it's not like in a good way like you know like say it's sad like you're like it's relatable you know right yeah okay well we are all done so we're gonna show you what we did and then we're gonna have our little closing moment all right, so what I did was I wrote basically kind of what I told you guys in this little paragraph here, and I finished it off with my little line of flowers and leaves. And then what Jenny did was she did the same. She continued her music notes and then wrote her little paragraph. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for joining again. If this is your first time coming here, Thank you for coming. Hopefully you see our last video that's coming up soon. Um, and if you've seen every single video, thank you for <laughs> thank you for sticking with us <laughs> and enjoying our process. Um, it's been fun doing this with you guys and I'm so excited for our last day um, that's coming up. So again, thank you so much for coming. It was cool doing this project. Um, yeah. To see um, the next episode, uh, you can go to pbc.org slash artnight, all one word. And then um, you'll be able to also find our previous videos there as well. So uh, we have one more coming up. So in a couple of weeks, uh, we'll have it up and ready for you guys to enjoy. All right. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bye. Bye.